Hello, it's Dmitry Anoshin in Cephalytics, and today I'm answering one of the subscribers' questions. The question was, is it true that uh, in 10 years all data jobs will be eliminated? So we can expand this question to, is it true that AI will replace all software engineering, all the data jobs, data engineers, data analysts, and most of the people? And here, it's hard to know what will happen in 10 years if we don't know what will happen like, in one year in the world. Right? Good things about this that usually we hear uh, those statements that AI will replace people, AI will replace software engineer jobs. If you will see the source of those claims, they usually coming from VC, from uh, venture capital funds or startups who are actually building the product to replace the AI. Right now, you know the capabilities of ChatGPT, capabilities of LLMs. They're helpful sometimes, but they usually lack of context. They even not, couldn't write the good SQL because their primary goal is to predict next back symbol based on like billions of parameters they have. But nowadays, we're not close to be replaced. ChatGPT and those systems, they're very helpful for us to do our work better. For example, you write the Python function and you're lazy to write the doc string for the Python function. Or there is some legacy code, you can co fit one file and ChatGPT can explain what is happening. But it's never tell you all dependency between this Python code and different business applications and business implications and how this works in the, in the big picture. That's why for now, even if it's true, even if we're gonna replace by AI in 10 years, the only thing what we can do, we can focus on the, the things that we can control. And one thing that we can control is our development. Right? Instead of thinking, uh, will AI replace or not replace, have the bad sleep and worry about this, because we, we don't control this process. And in my opinion, we're not gonna replace in 10 years. It's actually in 10 years, the market will need the experienced people who understand the internals, who understand the basic things. Nowadays, I'm experienced data engineer with 15 years experience. I can join any organizations and I can build the instant value. I can build the teams. I can understand the problems. I can understand the business requirements. I, I can tell to the business what they actually need from the data and how to do this with the data tools available in the market, how to build the team, how to train the team. I have really narrow focus on the data engineering problems and I can help people, help organizations to achieve their goals. And I don't think AI can help it because it's hard to basically pivot my experience from diverse industries, diverse experience, diverse roles, and make my avatar who can do this work for me. I don't know, maybe it happened somewhere in the future, but again, the point here nowadays, all the claims coming from startups who are gonna replace it or basically just want to raise the funds or the VC firms who invest in those type of the companies. Again, if you think about what should we do with our kids to do their own programming, I think the most important for kids is, uh, at least in my, in my world, the most important for kids is just to study. They need to read a lot. They need to do the math. They need to do like fundamental things like mathematics, physics, geometry, chemicals, study their English or study a foreign language. They just don't need to speak just one language. It could be like my kids, they speak Russian, English, they start learning French in school. So at least two language the kids need to know. Maybe nowadays is Chinese is a good option to study, to learn. The most important thing is the grow mindset. Don't worry about will replace or not. Just if you have the plan, what, what you're gonna learn, just stick to your plan. Uh, have the grow mindset, let your kids also learning the good things and don't forget about the sport because the physical exercise help us to be active or even sometimes proactive and have the good mood, have enough energy and motivation to every day come and crash. Even in case you have some failures, you fail the interview. It's not the problem. If you fail the interview, you're actually on the right path. After like five more failures or like 10 more failures, you actually get the job. And if you don't know what to do, find the experts like myself. I'm responsible for data engineering analytics. If you from different industry, ML, AI, DevOps, whatever, non-technical, find the expert, uh, come to this expert, maybe pay for time of the expert, ask all the questions you need and try to develop the roadmap for yourself, not the roadmap for like half of the year. Trying to think long term for the next two, three, four, five years, build your roadmap and think 
what you can do with your life, how you can improve it to make yourself and your family successful. I don't think AI will replace us in 10 years. Uh, maybe some other bad things happen, but definitely not AI that will replace my job. Thank you. <laughs>